Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the high quality settings the high quality that I achieve on my Dazzle DVC 170 using Studio 10 and Sony Vegas Pro 8 so to begin with you want to open up Studio 10 and before you change the uh, video control panel go on to settings and under capture format select MPEG 4 <clears throat> go on to custom and then up your bitrate to 8000 you want to have your audio settings at 48 kilohertz and now project preferences you want to have your project format to NTSC progressive widescreen and that's it now if you go back to capture source you'll notice that you won't be able to modify or change the aspect ratio but just ignore that for the time being, it doesn't matter. So click OK. And now you want to open up your video control panel and apply these settings. You want to have your brightness about one fifth way up. What you want to basically have is this kind of hill effect. You want to have the bottom left to top right. So you want to have this in the bottom middle. You want to have your contrast in the middle and your sharpness towards the top middle so try and get that obviously you can change it a bit you might want to up your brightness depending on how it looks in your preview window but this is this is basically what you want to have you want to have your hue all the way to the bottom because otherwise it just looks iffy and your saturation you want to have it slightly above halfway you don't want to push it too high but you don't want to have it below either because this avoids you uh, adding saturation in Sony Vegas so apply these settings shut it and open it and that way it saves it for next time and that's it so you can start recording and once you've recorded something open up Sony Vegas and once you have Sony Vegas open insert your video footage so drag in your footage, let it load, and what you'll notice is that your footage is at currently 4x3, it's not widescreen, you have these two massive black bars to the left and right. So what you want to do is, <clears throat> right click on your video, go into properties, and click untick, maintain aspect ratio, and then click OK what that will do is then widen the video but that's how it's meant to be because Gears of War Xbox 360 is at widescreen anyway alright so now you want to remove these little black bars that which are still there click on video pan slash crop and what you want to do here is enter these settings you want to have your width at 700.7 height 477.8 X center 358.9 and your Y center 240. And what you can do is save that as a preset by clicking on the floppy disk. I've saved it as widescreen no border and that works fine. So apply that. And now you have no borders, no nothing. Now you want to go into video effects. Scroll down to deform and you want to apply a compressed vertical deform All right. and now you want to change the amount to 0 0.105 as you can see in the preview window it's only slightly compressed and it just gives it a better widescreen effect save that as a preset and then what you want to do now is add a slight bit of saturation you don't want to add a full full saturation it does make it look a bit too colorful you don't want that you want to add a mid color boost so what you want to do is add a reset to none change your amount to 0 0.4540 center to zero spread to one uh, this again you can fiddle about with it you don't have to have it there you can maybe put it up a bit or down 
it's all your personal preference and that's from saturation adjust and now you want to add a sharpen this is again personal preference I like adding quite a high sharpen of 8.5 it does make the video look clearer clarity is better and more viewable so I add a 0 0.850 you can add something towards the middle so 0.5 if you wish but I like to keep it quite high at about 0 0.8 and that is that from the video effects to improve quality now what you want to do is go to file render as and now these are the rendering settings which I use there are two different um, rendering settings there's the HD one which I'll go through first what you want to do is click on to 4.8 megabytes per second HD 720 to 4 video click on that, hit custom you want your rendering quality best audio, forget about it video, you want to change that to high definition that's it really that's it from audio, nothing's changed everything's at default uh, and that's for HD, but if you want to render in high quality, so not for it to be HD you want to go on to 4.8 megabytes per second hit custom keep your vid video rendering quality at best go into um, video and now what you want to do is change the image size to custom and have your width at 960 and your height to 540, 540. and that's it and you can save that as a preset so high quality widescreen click OK and then you can start rendering and that's it